656 now. Time now for our Sunrise Smart Start. Last night, the Rochester City Council approving a budget that would cut millions from the Rochester Police Department. About $3.6 million will be taken from the Rochester Police Department, or 3.7%. Other changes cut the incoming Rochester Police class by 50% fully fund the Police Accountability Board and remove police officers from schools. As part of the vote, City Council rejected the Rochester City School District's budget on principle, but it will still move forward per the city charter. At the same time, Suburban School District holding budget votes last night as well. For a full list there, head to rochesterfirst.com. Police have made an arrest in a nearly two-month-old murder case. Chernet Tirone was killed on the night of April 28th inside his grocery store on Grand Avenue in Rochester. Tirone was a beloved member of the Beechwood neighborhood. Police have charged 30-year-old Gilberto Rivera for second-degree murder. Rivera is scheduled to be arraigned this morning. Well, officials from the Monroe County Health Department say they've been notified of a positive COVID-19 exposure believed to be connected to the Dragonfly Tavern on Park Avenue in the city. Officials say uh, it's likely that it happened between 9 and 11 back on Monday, June 8th. Health officials recommend if you were at the Dragonfly at that time uh, and you have symptoms, get tested and self-quarantine for 14 days. Patients and residents at hospitals and group homes in New York State will be allowed to accept visitors this week. The governor making that announcement yesterday, and the new guidelines go into effect Friday. All visitors will have to wear face coverings and have their temperatures checked. Though visitors are allowed on a state level beginning Friday, it is still up to each individual facility to decide whether to accept guests. Well, Verona Street Animal Society receiving a special grant from Best Friends Animal Society. The Rachel Ray Save Them All COVID-19 Relief Grant is to ensure that the city's animal services foster care program continues. The money will be used to help shelter the shelter pay for pet food, supplies, and medical care for the animals in foster care. Well, another beautiful day to be outside. Perhaps take your pet.